Today we're gonna bring the Cobra Max 2 by any cube and we're gonna open it up and set it up and see how fast it is and we're gonna test it out and I'm gonna show you the software part of it so let's go ahead and open it up and see what you get all right out of the box um, you're gonna get these rods right here right don't lose these these are very important these are for stabilizers um, here's the actual system it's all within one we're gonna stand it up right now and set it up uh, the, the screen all right you're gonna have to plug it in right here in the back uh, they give you all the allen wrenches and look at that they give you all the allen wrenches the screws the nuts pretty much everything that you require power for the filament and the main system itself you guys see it's a touch base system so it's still gonna have to do the old-fashioned way by touching i like that the piece comes on a one single piece so you could replace it maybe upgrade down the line maybe even put a laser cutter so i'm gonna open it up Let's set it up. So in order to completely remove, you're gonna have to take off the plate. If you guys can see, the four plates and four sides so you guys can stand it up. So go ahead and do that. All right, after removing the two bottom ones, we're gonna start the top ones now. All right, so there's gonna be three screws. One here, two, three, and you're gonna plug in one, two, and three, all right? These two are the same. This is gonna be a different screw. You're gonna have to find it in your bag. It's a little... To connect this on the bottom here, you have to do the three of them. Don't use the existing one that you just got out of it because it's a little shorter and the other one has a washer. So you gotta use them, the ones that are in the bag. Next thing, we're gonna do the rod and we're gonna do a step three here, installation three. It holds on through here and it goes all the way to the top here. Review what I did here. Long washer here and then you loosen it up a little bit more so you can fit it all the way here now this screw goes in here the smaller washer and then you fasten it with this one right to fasten it and tighten it up you could twist these they'll get nice and tight here's the heart of the actual system we're going to set it up so it has four screws all right and then let me show you it has four screws that you have to do one two three and four all right it mounts it sits in this way and if you guys see one two and then three four the screws all right and it has indentations so for the air and the circulation so all right so i set these two pre-set up but i didn't squeeze them in all the way so just to hang in there and then you're able to let it go and then tie the other ones up so much easier for you all right, we got that moving. So that's working, it's tidy already. So let's go to the next step. It's very simple, just this here. To fasten the actual line. Next step, we're gonna do the, the actual display itself, all right? So I'm gonna set this up here on the side of it. All right, we got it set it up already. It's it was very simple. If it hits here, you're doing something wrong. But you always move this thing a little bit to the right too, so you got plenty of clearance. All right. So let's go ahead and do the next step. Next thing is where the I'm gonna set this up here. So you just gotta make sure you have the right thing set up for your rip for your cord. All right. All right. Step six. Um, this is the filament indicator. If it runs out, so it's gonna be here. This is probably the hardest part of the build. It's actually connecting this, all right? And the only reason is that there is an E that connects here, and you're gonna have to zip tie the whole thing, all right? And in order to make it connect, you gotta make sure that this is facing down. So you're gonna have to stretch this one over here. Now you wanna make sure you, this part right here um, connects to here. So don't go over, put it underneath, because this cable's gonna go over. So, so X axis is this one right here. This is the one that we're gonna plug in first, so I don't have to forget, it says X. All right, next part, we're gonna cable manage it, and they give you this ribbon grabber. All right, just fixed it, and you can test it out. Make sure that it's not hitting anything, all right? It's not gonna hit anything. Make sure you test it out when you're actually setting it up. So last step besides the actual antenna, I'm gonna set it up. It's just a little antenna you screw in. Uh, it's just to tighten up the fasteners, make sure it's on the rail. If it's off the rail, you can control the actual angle of it. Uh, make sure you test it out with your hand. 
uh, vis physical and visualization on on the it's on the actual metal piece on the rod like i said last part the antenna we are going to put our camera here which i like at that uh tied up just a little bit the the actual bands here uh connect this that's the last part connect the side the z the z axis too on that side. all right we're going to turn it on first time turning this on so let's go and start so we're going to do english next uh global next and then we're going to put in our wireless information and i'm not going to show you guys that we set up our wireless confirm wireless is on and next and then we got the app already that we're going to set up already couldn't find the actual connection on the cloud system through my app so it's asking me i'm skipping the step i'm just going next right now and it's going to do a test itself so if you guys can see sorry my dogs are playing around right here underneath the test is taking a long time so it's progressing but i noticed it doesn't have any backing for this so you're gonna have to build something or print something so these two could be able to grab here or something but you if you're gonna have to manually fix it up yourself on the bed when on the magnetic right so that's gonna be something an issue i maybe have to print out something for it Right, it took a while to actually test itself out so let's go ahead and finish uh it says load filament we did next confirm it's gonna check itself now so you are gonna need a lot of space especially because of this tray but i'm gonna try to put that on the top of it uh somewhere on the on the top i'm gonna print something out or i'm just gonna attach it to it because this is best if it's on the top and this is horrible this is like a worst design ever and i'm looking at the pictures that's pretty much how it is look at that it doesn't even show you in here of how the cable supposed to go it tells you zip tie and stuff like that but you need the space you need this if this grabs onto this one is spinning and it's going to mess up your print it might be an issue so uh i think they need to fix that part or i need to fix that part and if you guys can see this is how it goes pretty much it goes there it tells you where to connect but it makes no sense you got to let it loose but then like it's going to hit your spool still it's uh, the design's not very good compact it should have been nice something with that system or something a chain i don't know just my thought my my Things I don't like about this machine so far. All right, we're gonna print a model first time. Say yes. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and print this one. It's gonna print in about, uh, I don't know how fast. It doesn't tell you anything here. It says it's heating up. So we're gonna let it print this model first. I didn't put any any glue or anything like that. We're just gonna print as it is. I could pause it or set so and so, but it just says it's gonna take a couple of minutes. So All right, we're doing a time lapse on here, but look at this. And right now it's saying, it doesn't tell you how long, it just says percentage watch, but I don't have a timer. A lot of these systems don't have timers. Some of them do, like the ones I have, to, but some of them, most of them, are coming out like this because they're not estimating anymore. But this one's going to go through in a couple minutes. We'll come back. This thing took about 12 minutes, it says. All right, we're gonna do a little dinosaur. Uh, this is gonna take about 36 minutes, so we're gonna print it. This thing is jamming. I'm gonna come back, see how well it works. This, I just took out some of the supports, but the actual dinosaur looks wonderful. It's, it bends, not 100% because it's of the backing right now so I have to remove some of this but look at this pretty much really good print good quality
Hope you guys enjoy the video.